Well, look at that gray. We're taking a live look right now. One of the most beautiful places in America, Bar Harbor. But it seems like no matter where you go across the state today, you're, you're going to get wet at some point because these clouds, they are just rolling through the area. Let's welcome back meteorologist Jason Naffy. Jason, the picture is worth a thousand words there. What are we looking at? Yeah, speaking of words, I mean, there's, there's a famous saying around here. I'm not a Mainer, but the, the saying from what I understand is wait 15 minutes and the weather changes. Of course. Uh, yesterday was in the 90s. 80s. Why does that feel like it was so long ago, David? Look outside now. Here's a shot in Portland. Same thing. Uh, almost the whole state is pretty much locked in, at least with the cloud cover. Yes, uh, not everyone is seeing the rain. A little break there. But look, the bottom has just fallen out today at three o'clock. It's 49 in Bangor it was yesterday. The high was 91. I mean, you're talking about about 40 degree drop in temperature, drastic changes in Portland. Today it's 45. Yesterday the high was 85 degrees, so it is just a fall from grace. 90s are long gone, chilly and wet for days, with the heaviest rain coming tomorrow of all times on the weekend. And summer is officially on hold until next weekend. That's how long this is going to last on the wide view. And speaking of wide views, here's the rain now coming into down east, northern Maine, Arista County, shower activity, southern coast, mid coast. Western Maine, it's not pouring rain. It hasn't been terrible there. It hasn't been warm, but it hasn't been raining all day like it has along the southern coast. It's that wind out of the north that's just keeping things with the cloud cover. It very chilly, so I'm going to do the positive out outlook of things. Here's the part of the state that's dry <laughs> everywhere else seeing on and off showers, and here comes the rain. This is the big batch that's over uh, around the Maritimes in eastern Canada. That's going to hook up with a little bit of a burst from this low and it's going to get thrown back our way. So uh, David and I were talking at the top of the show about a wall of rain that's coming. Well, here we go. Put the map into motion. Now tonight we dry out southern coast a bit, but as you'll see on Sunday, things start to get cranking here in the hour by hour forecast as that rain starts coming in. Here comes the wall into down east rain, uh, Maine in Bar Harbor, Eastport, and then down towards Rockland, the mid coast, the southern coast. But look at western Maine and northern Maine. Not all that bad. And by 11 o'clock, it's really coming down here uh, for temperatures in the 50s and 40s. So I'll put the map in motion and then just, you know, go home. I'm, I'm not kidding. I'm not going to go home. But look at this. This is into Wednesday. This low is going to be sitting there and spinning four days. So unfortunately, not the greatest look at the forecast if you're looking to do outdoor events. For the next several days, Gale warning is up when northeast, not a nor'easter, but it's got some characteristics for sure. The next three days, the forecast rainy and breezy for Sunday. Same thing Monday, same thing Tuesday. You notice the temperatures go up very, very small amounts in the next three days. It's going to take about six or seven to get us into a little bit of sun and some clouds and sun on Saturday. Uh, fair warning, that's next weekend I'm talking about on this weekend because it looks that bad, except for I, could, I found I'm trying to find the positive here, David, uh, and except for three groups, lawns, gardens and people suffering from allergies, mm -hmm. though everyone else I think is not happy, but those three are OK. Looking for silver linings despite the temperatures dropping, no frost predicted, right? We didn't oh, get well, I, I don't want to go too far into okay. that, but yes, up in the western mountains, I do see some 30s and okay. low 40s. You know, it, this is Maine. It, we just ever get everything. <laughs> I know that makes farmers hold their breath. And last thing, the wildfires over Nova Scotia. Yeah, the, hopefully this. Yes, it does there. help. You found another silver lining that is going to help uh, in, in Canada in general and for us. So wonderful. Yeah, but got to deal with a little bit of yes, moisture. Sir. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Jason.